There's more news coming out about the Odyssey of the Odyssey, the Villa V Odyssey, that is. Thanks for watching Backroads Tourist today. I'm Jeff. I'd like to start off by welcoming all of the new subscribers to the channel. In just the past week, several hundred of you have joined the family, and it's good to have you here. And if you've been a subscriber for a while, I certainly do appreciate you too. Whenever I do a story on the Villa V, I like to give a brief synopsis of this story so that those just joining us don't feel left out. The Villa V Odyssey is a 31-year-old ship that's been fixed up and turned into a residential ship. For a large amount of money, you can buy a cabin and then sail around the world. It was supposed to launch back in May, but several delays kept pushing the date back again and again. And now four months later, the Odyssey still hasn't sailed. Meanwhile, Villa V has been footing the bill for lodging and entertainment for residents who have been in Belfast for months, waiting for the ship to become seaworthy and get clearance to start the cruise. However, a few days ago, the CEO of Villa V said that they will no longer provide lodging for those passengers still in Belfast. So, in a nutshell, that's where the story stands. But the CEO of Villa V has issued a statement that should be seen as optimistic, but based on the track record of delays and missed launch dates, I think we all need a grain of salt right about now. Let me read to you what the CEO said, and then I'll give you my thoughts. Quote, while the road has had its challenges, every decision we've made is focused on the well-being and safety of our residents. We have supported our residents with trips around Europe and spent over $2 million in hotel stays and trips to accommodate and entertain them while the Odyssey has been getting ready for launch. Since residents are scattered throughout Europe in over 20 different hotels, we have decided to let residents plan their hotels and way back to the ship for launch. These costs will be compensated with onboard credit of up to $200 per day. The hard work continues, and we are on track to welcome passengers on board by the end of this week. We look forward to launching with pride and purpose, knowing that we're not just building a ship, but a united community at sea together. End quote. All right, a lot to unpack here. First of all, I said this in my last video, and I'll say it again. They should have a PR spokesperson giving this information and not the CEO. The CEO has given so many statements that have later needed to be taken back that it's damaged the trust that people have in him. I think it's too late for a PR person now, though. The damage has already been done. So he says that Villa V spent over $2 million in hotel stays and trips. The last figure we heard said that this was $500,000. However, a resident of Villa V reached out to me and confirmed that the figure of $2 million is a more accurate number. This is also the first time that I've heard that the money residents pay for lodging will be compensated in onboard credit of up to $200 per day. For the residents paying their own way, this might help take some of the sting out of this. Now, one line in the statement that sort of nags at me is the one that says, quote, since residents are scattered throughout Europe in over 20 different hotels, we have decided to let residents plan their hotels and way back to the ship for launch, end quote. What does this statement even mean? It almost sounds like they're trying to spin this in a way to say that they're doing the residents a favor. Finally, the part that made everyone perk up their ears is when he said that they're on track to welcome passengers on board by the end of the week. Well, today is Thursday, so we only have to wait a day or two to see if that prediction comes true. I also think it's important to see what wasn't said in that statement. Welcoming passengers on board doesn't mean setting sail. It doesn't mean that residents may finally be able to sleep in their own cabins. It just means that they'll be able to step onto the ship. There's something else in Villa V world that I want to talk to you about, but first of all, I would sure appreciate it if you would give this video a like to help get it recommended to others. And as I mentioned earlier, 
a wave of viewers. Just subscribe to the Backroads Tourist Channel. And if you'd like to be a part of this family, I'd like to invite you to hit that subscribe button down there. I bring you several videos each week on cruise news, cruise tips, and cruise reviews. And every now and then I throw you a curveball by doing a video on an interesting place that I visited. In fact, recent videos that I've done include visits to the Wounded Knee Memorial and Cemetery, St. Pierre in Martinique, which was destroyed by a volcano, leaving only one survivor, and a visit to a sloth sanctuary in Costa Rica. I think you might just like those videos too. But now let's get back to the Villa V, or more specifically, the Villa V passengers. Friends, I really appreciate the comments that you've been leaving on the other Villa V videos I've done. Most of them are thoughtful and insightful, but every now and then, there's a mean one. Several people have made comments belittling the people who have bought cabins on the Villa V, questioning their intelligence about putting down so much money on speculation or just not doing their research. Well, you know what? I've made bad decisions in my life, but at the time, I thought they were good, well thought out decisions. I'll bet you've made bad decisions too. Maybe you landed your dream job that you wound up hating a year later. Maybe you married someone and it didn't work out. Maybe you invested in something that you thought was a sure bet only to find out that it wasn't. We've all gone into situations with the best of intentions and sometimes through no fault of our own, circumstances change and we wind up getting the short end of the stick. The people who invested in a cabin did so because they were trying to realize their dream. And as someone who started a business from scratch, I admire that. It was a courageous thing for them to do. I fault no one for chasing their dreams. So please, Show kindness and compassion in the comments section. I'm sure we've all made bad choices that we thought were good ones. It reminds me of that old saying, man plans and God laughs. But thank you for watching and listening today. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. Best of luck to the Villa V residents. I'm Jeff. I hope to see you on a future cruise.